So I decided to create a model. Now, uh, this is how I work. I haven't actually structured it into a model before, but I found that very useful in order to explain it uh, right now. So, as you can see in front of you, this is the model that I use. And what you see is on the, on the left hand side, you see mining, analysis and targeting. And that is sort of the process that you go through, those three steps that you always have to go through. Which is you have to get data from some place, you gotta think about it, and then you gotta create something in which way you can use it. So that's mining the gathering, analysis, the sort of, you know, baking the data, analyzing it, and then it's, there is targeting, you know, when you're actually starting to use it to get better results. Now, in this case, there are some, you know, beginner levels, intermediate levels, and very advanced levels of segmenting data. Most of us only afford the very beginning way of, of using data and manipulating it. Growth over time is maintenance. So although all of us can, are supposed to mine, analyze and target uh, using, uh, using data, we have to do it very different ways based on our experience level, our budget and many other like how big our corporation really is. Uh, now, the very easiest way of, of sort of segmenting data is using those exports that you get from Google Analytics, Facebook Insights, uh, the Adobe uh, Suit series, you can get it from, from Twitter, from, from all of these places. You can download sort of Excel files of data. So that's sort of the, the export beginner uh, sort of mining that you can, you can do. You should try to sort of, you know, find patterns in those people who are doing what you want them to do and those you put into buckets. People that behave this way, they should receive this message and people who behave this way, they should receive this message. Some of your users, they're not prepared to, to do what you want them to do yet but others are very prepared to do what you want them to do. And this is how you should use segmentation to give people the messaging at the very easiest level. You should give people the messaging that they might find useful at that point in time. So that's how you segment your different users. So there are these things called APIs. APIs work as open doors into databases where you can fetch a lot of data. That data comes usually, I must say, in a structured format. Some APIs are better than others. If you want to see what kind of APIs there are out there, Google list of APIs and you will see that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of APIs that will give you data for free for you to then use in your applications. second part of this is a little bit more tricky because you actually got to know some programming. There are some services that connect with APIs but you're much better off if you know some programming or if you have a programmer uh, next to you. Then what I recommend once you have APIs uh, that you've connected to you should program some kind of machine learning meaning uh, um, a code that sort of analyzes all the data it comes in contact with. Because the benefit of connecting with an API is that you will get new data all the time. So if you program some kind of machine learning that will be able to sort of figure out what is the best thing to do right now. And how should we change our communication over time? How we adapt to new services? That is what machine learning will actually do. It teaches itself to better become more sophisticated uh, as to what it can create. Now, most machine learning fails um, artificial intelligence if you just like, program something to produce so, um, Definition problem here. But most simple machine learning systems, uh, what they will help you is that they will help you build behavioral profiles. Meaning, if someone has come to your website, click the link, if they come from a specific source, if they, you know, whatever it is that they do that you can measure, that's what they will be able to build profiles on and they will be able to retarget people and they will be able to do all of those things uh, in order to move people along. Uh, a specific uh, funnel. So they help you segment on a very much more specific level based on what behavior a person is showing that time that they come to your website. So you don't have to guess as much. 
Uh, so that's what, what, what the machine learning will do for you. It will create behavioral profiles that will then be automatically implemented into whatever marketing it is that you do. Now, the most difficult way of working with segmentation and the most advanced way of working with segmentation is by working with a combination of scraping and API. Scraping is essentially going online and just taking information that is available there and then stuffing it into a database. There can be structured scraping, but most of the time, uh, you know, you will get a big chunk of data that you have to structure yourself. Unlike the APIs where this data comes to you in a structured format most of the times, um, that data amount will become so big that it will be close to that big data that everyone talks about really, really fast. And so you will really need an artificial intelligence to be able to help you out with interpreting and with reprogramming sort of the, the itself and, and the machine learning doing all of these sort of suggestions to you. And the whole point of this type of segmentation is to be able to build something. I heard this, this expression the other day, psychographical personas or profiles, uh, which essentially mean that they do not look at behavior. And yes, they do look at behavior, but they also try to figure out who you are as a person and then give you whatever messaging you need as an individual in order to move one step further down the, the line. And so, uh, the most advanced type, I'm not there, I'm not working with that, I'm very curious about it, so I'm researching it right now, but I'm not there, I'm in sort of the behavioral thingies, that's where I like to hang out, using APIs and using machine learning, however, uh, I would really like to get into these artificial intelligence, sort of Watson uh, uh, and, and uh, looking at those psychographic profiles and try to figure out on how we can build user journeys that are complete individual. Because um, yeah, I think that will make, make a lot of sense in the future. Super scary, but unless I understand it, I will not be able to use it and use it against people who are using it against me. So. Yeah, that's what this model really says.